Now today, friends, our study brings us to the seventh chapter here of Second Kings. If you have your Bible and have found the place, we come to what we suggested last time would be one of the most unusual incidents in the life of Elisha. Now, you will recall that there was a famine, and it was a very serious famine in the land, and that an ass's head. And imagine eating that. Not much meat on it to begin with, and it could only be boiled, I guess, and made into a soup or a stew. But the price of it, they were having inflation in that day. And as a result, why, it was a very serious day. And Elisha then made a very remarkable prophecy, and that opens chapter 7. Now, here is a shortage of food in the land because of the famine. And a famine is an evidence of the judgment of God upon his people. These things are always warnings that come from God. I very frankly believe that the different tragedies that have come to our land in recent years have been a warning to our nation. The earthquake in California, and I must add the hurricanes in Florida to sort of balance the budget, and the storms that have been across this land, the many tragedies that have come, I think have been a warning from God. And that's what it was to his people in that day. Now I'm reading verse 1. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Now this actually means about four pecks would be about a bushel. And one shekel would probably be worth about 65 cents. Now, that means that the inflation is over, and they're having a real discount sale on flour. And how could that come to pass? They were having a famine. Where would the food come from? It would be normal to expect a famine to be over. They would plant seed. And then, in a few months' time, they would get a harvest. And then that would ease the famine that was in the land. But that's not the way Elisha told it. Elisha said, tomorrow, why, the famine will be over. And how can it be over? Because that's just not the way famines get over. Now, what happened? Well, this is what happened. Actually, the hosts of the Syrians were camped outside of Samaria. They have now, as we saw last time, that Ben-Hadad, he had come down against Samaria and besieged it. And adding to the famine and to the fact the city was besieged, they were in desperate straits. 